Hi, my name is Eric Giesa, and I'm the Vice President of Product Management here at Tempered Networks. This video we're going to cover two things. First, the five most common mistakes we see customers making with any micro-segmentation initiative. Two, we're going to show you the power of identity-based micro-segmentation, a new paradigm that is simpler, faster, and radically more secure than any other alternative on the market. So let's talk about those mistakes. First of all, VLANs do not equate to micro-segmentation or segmentation at all. ACLs do not equate to micro-segmentation. Three, customers often overlook the importance of cloaking, encryption, and universal connectivity when it comes to any micro-segmentation initiative. Four, they often overlook the extensive breadth of the networked things that they need to microsegment. Microsegmentation is more than just virtual servers, cloud workloads, or physical servers. Five, human effort. Customers often overlook the cost and time to implement, but especially maintain effective microsegmentation. Now we have a great guide on these five most common mistakes and how to avoid them. And we'll tell you how to get access to that. But let's go and start. I'm going to show you the power of identity-based microsegmentation and just how simple and radically secure this is. The beauty of our solution is it works over any IP network and all devices are cloaked, meaning they are undiscoverable from hackers. So even if they got on the same network segment as the SharePoint server or some HMI server or any critical asset. Any attacker simply would be unable to see it. You can't hack what you can't see. And everything is auditable, meaning you can instantly satisfy team compliance requirements. Let's look at our solutions dashboard now. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the conductor. This provides an overview uh, over your entire IDN deployment. I'm going to show you several common customer use cases and you'll see how easy it is to create private and secure network segments with micro segmentation down to the individual device level. So it's very specific, very granular. In this example, we have an HR department with 11 employees that all require access to, in this case, a SharePoint server. Here we have the overlay tab and you'll see that it's been pre-populated with devices just in the interest of time. We have an HR group that are all mobile using laptops and they have pre-installed our HIP client software. Each, you'll notice too, have a private IP address and we want to be able to connect them to the SharePoint server located in this instance uh, in Virginia. All I have to do is highlight the server and select the HR group. In two mouse clicks I've created a micro segmentation that is verifiable and unbreakable. Now let's go to the visualization tab where we can see that the HR group now has communication policy with the SharePoint server. It doesn't matter what type of network the HR employees are coming from. It could be on the LAN, across the WAN, public Wi-Fi, or even from home. Everyone in the group has instant access and no one else has access to this server. So they get the same security context regardless of they're working from home, or whether they're in the office. Now another common segmentation use case is connecting uh, DevOps to the cloud and discrete instances in the cloud. And the ability to peer within the cloud as well as between different providers and environments and on-premises. The challenge is dealing with totally different security models in the cloud world and there's different IP and DNS schemas depending upon your public cloud provider. Um, in fact, AWS documentation uh, explicitly states you cannot create a VPC peering connection between VPCs in different regions, direct instance to instance. So with Temper Networks, most networking constraints are now removed and connectivity and segmentation is easy and it's as simple as a couple of clicks, regardless of regions or provider. 
Um, and in this case, all it takes is a couple mouse clicks. I've connected my AWS instance with my Azure instance so my DevOps team can get to work, migrating workloads, synchronizing data, or deploying separate micro-segmented and automated environments for development, test, staging, and production. Now, the other segmentation use case I want to show is one that's very common in, in our world, and it's how to manage and connect and protect and also collect information from, you know, industrial control systems, PLC, SCADA, uh, that are distributed all over the place. Typically, organizations need to give very discrete remote access to specific devices for servicing. And in this case, I have a Schneider PLC that is connected over Verizon cellular network, and we need to give a remote technician access to that PLC, but very granular access, not just to the network that that PLC is residing on, but to that specific PLC. And we have no idea what network the technician is going to be connecting from, uh, or what their IP address is going to be. It doesn't matter with our solution. The PLC can be privately addressed and be on a separate cellular network anywhere in the world. All it takes is a couple of mouse clicks to create a trust relationship between that remote user's laptop and the PLC. And they've got instant access. And I can easily revoke access with one click or disable that access from anywhere in the world. So the net result is secure networking can really be this easy. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn how to easily micro-segment your environment. And we know that this is the most powerful thing to be able to cloak, encrypt, and micro-segment access control to any device anywhere in the world without the typical uh, network barriers and security constraints uh, while improving your security posture makes it that much better. Got your network performance you need, availability, and security all in one. Thanks for your time.